So as you know by now, the DLC playlist is kind of a, a little bit of a way for us to bring up little things that we wouldn't usually cover in the podcast. And demos are kind of what I would class as something that fits in the role of what we wouldn't really get too deep into. And something that I've been playing this week is the Forza Motorsport 7 demo. And I'm not going to lie, it's pretty damn good. This is Jimmy for the Thor Skin Podcast. How's it going, everyone? Um, so, man, that, that demo, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty blown away by it. I was expecting to... Well, let me let me rewind first. I was kind of putting this off. I didn't want to go into it because I'm kind of one of these people that if there's an opportunity to be had, I want to make sure that my first experience of it is the best that I can have with it. And with the Xbox One X coming out and Forza 7 really going to be one of those flagship titles for it to get the most out of it, I didn't really want to play on my Xbox One S and get half the experience. But I'm not going to lie, it did not let down at all. This game holds up just as well, even on a weaker console. So I can't wait for to see what this is like on the Xbox One X. So the graphically, you kind of come to expect it year in, year out. Forza is one of those games that pushes the boundaries graphically each year. And this is no exception. The, the detail on the cars, the... Uh, the reflections on the tarmac, the sky, the clouds, all of the scenery as you're flying past, it just, um, it looks real. It really does. We're getting to that point where these titles that have these super sort of hyper streamlined engines that just get so so much amazing performance out of the, the consoles that they're running on. They're just hitting levels that I honestly I wouldn't even dream that we'd have been at at the start of this generation. Um, as far as handling goes, it's Forza. It really is just more of the same. It's the same racing game that you'd expect. Slightly tweaked. There's a few little bits and bobs that um, you, you're going to notice coming from uh, Forza Horizon because it's obviously the, the sort of the other side of the sub franchise. A lot of different um, tiny little tweaks from um, Forza Motorsports 6, which I haven't played too much of myself, but um, I, I did play a bit of that. And um, one of the biggest things that I like about it is the presentation. They've they've seemed to get a little bit more attitude from going from. Uh, Forza Motorsport 5 and 6 are very sort of sterile, boring, we're a racing simulator, blah, 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 blah. And Horizon is the one that rocks up with sort of board shorts on and a, a cheesy Hawaiian shirt. They've taken more attitude from Horizon in this one, just from the soundtrack, the way that they present in the UI. There's just a little bit more sort of um, attitude towards it. And I think that's going to really sort of play well for people to, to try and hold that against um, Forza Horizon because I know that there are a lot of people that I speak to that um, hold Horizon on a pedestal and don't really get along with motorsport that much. I think this is the year that people are going to start to uh, maybe switch around and start taking motorsport a little bit more seriously. So that's going to be it for this uh, for this episode of the DLC podcast guys. Just a little wrap up of my impressions of the uh, of the demo. This one didn't even need talking about really, did it? It's going to be a day one. So that's the demo, guys. Until next week, we will see you later. And make sure if you uh, like the video, you give it a thumbs up and give it a subscribe. And I say next week, probably going to drop both of these this week, not going to lie. See you later. Bye.